Jakuka Burra, and look at the relief on those birds. That is absolutely gorgeous. Look at the, the shininess and the design. That Hey everybody, this is Rob Keent with GoldSilverPros.com doing a very special video presentation for JM Bullion. I wanted to take a moment and give you a really quick, honest endorsement for JM Bullion. I found this company over a decade ago when I first started collecting my gold and silver as a stacker. The reason I like JM Bullion is because they've always had very reasonable premiums on their prices. In fact, I've shown that on the screen. A friend of mine has an application that scrapes prices for all the major retailers online and JM Bullion over history over the last 10, 12 years has had some of the best uh, premium rates or lowest premiums on gold and silver. So if you're looking for low premium gold and silver, I do fully recommend them. I've had nothing but positive experience as a customer and I happen to be one of those spokespeople and providing this content as well as the blog and very happy to do it. And I wanted to talk today about something special that's happening in South Korea, but specifically with the young folks. And this is something that we have been looking forward to happening really for years. And uh, that is that the millennials are getting into gold. We have a story from UPI.com, Korean convenience store selling gold bars and vending machines. In South Korea, they're actually putting gold vending machines into convenience stores. GS, who's the parent company doing this one, has vending machines in 29 stores in South Korea. They're going to expand to 50 by the end of the year and they have over 10,000 stores. So if this goes off well, you'll have a lot, potentially a lot of locations in South Korea where you can just roll up into a convenience store and you can buy gold. And they have denominations as small as 0.13 ounces all the way up to 1.3, but it's going to be easily accessible by the people. And this article goes on to note most of the people buying these are in their 20s and 30s. It says, People in their 20s and 30s appear to be the main buyers purchasing physical gold as an investment vehicle, especially in times such as these when its value is continuing to rise. Uh, the most popular gold bar is the smallest 0.13 ounce, which is currently priced around 225, said a GS retail representative. The popularity of bars at its stores has prompted the company to increase the number of outlets from 29 to 50. What is the significance of that, ladies and gentlemen, is that the young people are going to gold. It's not just Bitcoin, which is getting a bid right now. It's up to over 31,000 today, June 23rd, that I'm recording this. But gold is as well. And gold's making inroads into the millennials, which is important. Why is it important that gold and silver make inroad into the millennial generation? Because they're the largest generation in existence. There are over 2 billion people. That's billion with a B worldwide. Last count was 2.1 billion and they're coming into their prime spending age. So if you want gold and silver to go up, this is where you want it to happen. You want the millennials getting into gold and silver and not just Bitcoin and those other alternative investments, but looking at the history of 5,000 year gold and silver. And I've been speaking to this for a long time and hopefully uh, speaking to the millennials as well to get them involved. And thankfully they can do that down here in South Korea. It says here, the popularity of gold bars is surging at convenience stores around South Korea as the value appreciates amid strong inflationary pressures around the globe. GS Retail confirmed Friday that sales of gold bars as convenience store totaled 19 million in the past nine months in May. 19 million in one country in convenience stores of all places. The gold bars dispensed through vending machines were introduced last September at five of the stores. This is just such a huge development because it we've seen these machines pop up in Dubai in the Middle East. And it makes sense that they'll pop up in Asia too, because honestly, Asia has traditionally been a stronghold for the precious metals. They incorporate them in their ceremonies and in weddings, and they give them in dowries and they pass them down. And so they understand the value of gold and silver and the younger generation does too. I also wanted to talk about on this little podcast, some of the products that Jam Bullion has available to you guys. I love their products and I'm about to show you the Kookaburra silver coin. This is the front side of it, which just has the image of the queen, Elizabeth II. It's got a $1 marking on there. This is a generic round, but it's got this gorgeous, I say generic round, it's a mint produced round. It's a Kookaburra and look at the relief on those birds. That is absolutely gorgeous. Look at the, the shininess and the design. That is just a beautiful coin. I fully recommend these kookaburras. I've got this in a little plastic case because I don't want it to get scratched. I want it to remain in proof condition because look at what they've done with the coin. They got the nice matte finish here on the back side around the queen. 
And then they've got the shiny on the outside and then highlighting her profile. And you can just see the sparkle off of that. The queen is one of the most famous and popular coins ever made that comes out of the Royal Mint. And here are the Kookaburra birds. Again, you can see the matte finish on the coin. And then you can see the gloss finish on the birds and the lettering makes it stand out. What an absolutely gorgeous coin. These are available at JM Bullion. They have them in stock. They sent me this one to show you guys. I totally want to keep this one. I'm going to ask them if I can. What an absolutely gorgeous silver coin. And in an era in which we have high inflation, people are having trouble finding jobs, banking troubles, people are turning to gold and silver, and that includes people in the younger generation. If you're in the younger generation, I fully encourage you to follow JM Bullion, to read the blog at jmbullion.com forward slash blog that we put out, to follow our work on gold, silver pros, and consider potentially getting into precious metals. We're not your financial advisors and we cannot tell you what to do. You should do your own due diligence. However, given what's happening around the world, I think gold and silver are going to become more popular and they're becoming popular cross generationally. It doesn't matter whether you're young or old. Another coin that I wanted to show you guys that has a little bit of Australian theme as well, because Australia is part of the Commonwealth is again, you got the queen right there on the front and look at the ribs on the outside of this coin and the texturing on the outside gives it a completely different look from the kookaburra. Here's the kookaburra coin where you just have the matte finish with the gloss. This one has got a really interesting ribbed design on the outside of the coin. Now these ribbed designs uh, basically are paying homage to all the ribbed coins that originally came out in gold and silver. Uh, all those issuances in Rome and all those other places that had ribs. And of course you've got the same sort of ribbed design in the back with a kangaroo. What another gorgeous coin. That one just shines very pretty. And they have these coins available at Jam Bullion. You should go to Jam Bullion if you're interested in silver and check those out. We love the shiny. We know that you guys will too. This was a very special report on the ability to get gold in vending machines now, not only in the Middle East, but in South Korea. What do you think? Answer down in the comments below. Do you think that the United States and the Western world will start having gold and silver vending machines in a convenience store or a grocery store near you? Think about it. We have the coin machines where they collect your coins. We, we used to have the red box video machines. Why couldn't we have a gold and silver machine? It's true money. I think that we can. I think that we may see that. It wouldn't surprise me if we saw that during the next leg of the gold and silver market heading forward. That's going to do it for today. Thank you so much for joining the program. This has been Rob Keens of Gold Silver Pros.